สวัสดีค่ะ I'm คุณน้อง from My Thai Language School. Today we are talking about sickness. So first of all, when you see someone who look not so well or who seem to be sick, emotionally or physically, you can ask easily, เป็นอะไรเป็นอะไรเป็นอะไร The word pain, this is a verb to be, and a r i is mean what. But in this sense, it doesn't mean that what is this or what is that or what are you, who are you. But pain, it's refer to the sickness. Or in English, we can translate like a, what seem to be the problem. Okay. So, p e n a r i k a If You have a problem. For example, you are sick. You are not well. You can say, "My s a b a i For example, "Chan, my s a b a i คุณเป็นอะไรคะฉันไม่สบายฉันไม่สบาย And if you would like to tell uh, specifically, for example. You have a headache. The word ache is ปวด In Thai, we use it as verb, and the word head is หัว So if you have headache in Thai, we're gonna say ฉันปวดหัวฉันปวดหัวเธอเป็นอะไรฉันปวดหัวโอ้ยปวดหัวฉันปวดหัว Similar idea. If you have a stomach ache, we gonna change a little bit. So the word for stomach or abdomen, we use the word ท้อง So instead of ปวดหัว it gonna be ปวดท้องฉันปวดท้องฉันปวดท้อง Oh, ปวดท้องฉันปวดท้องฉันปวดท้อง Anyway, please remember that when we use the word ปวดท้อง it's exactly like you have stomach ache. So that means if you would like to talk about diarrhea, we use different word. The word for diarrhea is ท้องเสียท้องเสีย The word เสีย it mean it's out of a uh, s e r v i c e it cannot work properly. So in this case, when you are ท้องเสีย your digestion something inside it doesn't work properly. So that's why you have to run 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 to the toilet every five minutes or ten minutes. เป็นอะไรไปห้องน้ำฉันท้องเสียท้องเสียท้องเสีย Okay and the next one that is interesting is if you have a fever you can say เป็นไข้เป็นไข้ so for example ฉันเป็นไข้ฉันเป็นไข้ If you have a sore throat, the word for the throat or neck in Thai we use the same word, k a l But for sore throat, we don't say ปวดคอ We're gonna say เจ็บคอเจ็บคอเป็นอะไรเจ็บคอฉันเจ็บคอฉันเจ็บคอ But if you have a pain or ache outside, like for the neck, not inside, we're gonna use the word ปวดคอปวดคอ So there are two important verbs here when you are sick. First is the word ปวดปวด Please remember that it's the same as ache in English. So when you would like to talk about like have a headache, have a stomach ache, don't forget to use the word ปวด and then followed by the body part. And another word is เจ็บเจ็บ In Thai, when you use the word เจ็บ
it's similar to the word hurt. Okay, so when you jab, that means you uh, feel like pain or it's hurt. For example, jab tong. We can use the word jab tong as well. But jab tong normally it's something like outside on the surface, or maybe if you cut yourself. That is the problem that might cause you to feel like oh, it's hurt when you touch it. Jab. So the word jab, the same idea. You follow by the body part that you get hurt. Okay. For example, if you have a wound or uh, somewhere here, and you say jab hua, jab hua, normally you might not feel uh, continuous pain. But when you touch or when you just move a little bit, you might oh. Jab, jab. So you can say jab h u a But when you have a headache, don't forget, p u a t h u a Okay, ค่ะ So I think that's all for today. See you again soon. สวัสดีค่ะ